Kyle Suter, kylesuter.com. Doing some live dials. Uh, calling to confirm an appointment. Hello, Carolyn. Yeah. Hey, this is Kyle Studer. I'm the young man that stopped by the house a few times about the um, final expense program, and I was calling to give you a reminder call about our appointment tomorrow around 10. Just double checking. You'll be there at 10 o'clock. We'll be able to uh, make some phone calls and figure out where you're at. <laughs> you don't. You, okay, take your time. Don't always do this, but I've had to reschedule with this woman three times. Okay, so it's Kyle Studer. Um, I'll be there sometime between ten and twelve. If you could give grant me a little grace on the time. Some people have more questions, and sometimes there's travel. All right, Miss Carolyn. Well, I will. I'll see you tomorrow around ten then. Oh, and hey, um, we're trying. Remember, we're trying to figure out what you had through AEP. Okay. So, any kind of paperwork you have, that's fine. If not, we can call. We can take a little bit longer route, but I can help you. We can call AEP. Okay. And we say, hey, this is Carolyn. I forgot who our insurance was through. What kind of life insurance do we have? What company oh, okay. was that? And we'll, right. we can handle it that way, too. All right. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Yeah, so don't ever, I don't ever do that. I don't ever do reminder calls. Uh, never. But this woman's had to reschedule three times, and she continues to reschedule and meet with me, so... There's some kind of interest, you know. So, I, she, even then, she wrote it down. So, hopefully, she remembers. Might uh, kind of book that morning up aggressively. This is a. I was actually helping an aged lead last week, sitting down with a woman, and one of her uh, nurses, uh, not a nurse's aide, but somebody showed up to do something for her. And the woman that come to the house needs a policy, so this is who I'm calling now. Please leave your message. <clears throat> she don't know my number, so this was a week ago we talked. Do the old three or four dials in a row. Please leave your message for. Oh, she did tell me to leave a voicemail and send a text, so I'll call her one more time. Just to see. She's probably working. Please leave your message for six one. Record your message after the tone. Simply hang up when done. Changes your voice when you smile. Press the pound sign. Hey Rita, this is Kyle Studer. I'm the young man that was uh, sitting with Juanita last week uh, when you came to her apartment in Lancaster. Just giving you a call. I'll be out in Lancaster tomorrow on Tuesday and wanted to see what time was good to meet. We can meet over a cup of coffee or whatever works. Sorry. Okay, I'm coming baby. You hear my two-year-old in the background, but uh, I could do as early as 7 in the morning or as late as 9 p.m. I know you ain't out there that late, but um, just let me know what works. Usually I try to set something up in two-hour increments, so I, I can do something between 8 and 10, 12 and 2, 2 and 4, something like that. And it should just be 10, 15 minutes or so. Okay, Miss Rita, we'll be safe. Hope you have a good day. Call me back, and uh, we'll figure out what works for you. Bye. I'm sending her a text. Hey Rita. Kyle Studer here. I'm the young man that was with Juanita for the final expense program last Tuesday, period. I'll be in Lancaster tomorrow, period. Is it better to 
meet up with you in the morning or afternoon? Question mark. Aurora's watching Paw Patrol, so there must be a catastrophe out here. I gotta go figure it out. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Hopefully she gets back to me. Another referral. This is a referral. Uh calling in an emergency response system for a client. It's a client's daughter, so. Hello. Hello, Kathy. Hey, this is Kyle Studer. Um, uh -huh. I'm a young man that met with your mother, Linda, uh, a few okay. weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was telling me about you, Carl. Wow, good things or bad things? <laughs> no, no, good things. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, she, so I helped her out with a final expense plan, a final expense program. Right, and, so she told me. Okay, perfect. So, Kyle, do you, I mean, do you want to call me after... Um, Let's see. I should be home at. Uh, she call me after six if you could. I'm at work right now. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I'll make a That's note okay. here. That's all right. You don't know. Um. So. Real quick. Sometimes I'm off by four, but today I have an appointment after I get off work. You book so. it fast. Watch. Okay, so that's actually the reason I was calling. Um, I'm going to be in Lancaster area tomorrow. And I wanted to see if I could bring the information over to you uh, sometime between 6 and 7. Take about 15 minutes or so. Uh, well, I don't live in Lancaster. Between 6 and 7 in the evening? Uh, yes, in the evening. In the evening. Are yeah, you, I live over in Amanda area. Are you your mom's neighbor or is that somebody else? That's somebody else. Okay. So you don't yeah. live behind your mom. No, no. Amanda is fine. That's that's close enough. Um, yeah, I'm just five minutes from home. Okay, perfect. Down, uh, you just go down Royalton Road and hang a left on Cedar Hill. But okay. it's 14 Cedar Hill Road. But I have a couple big dogs, so call me when you're on, on your way. Okay, hey, real quick, what is the uh, address out there, Kathy? Uh, Cedar Amanda. Hill Road. Amanda. Amanda in the GPS? All right. Yeah, that's my address. Yes. If you put Lancaster, you'll be going to Lancaster. All right. And do you? Lancaster. Yep. My dad lives right off of it. Do you? Uh, yeah. What color is the house out there, Kathy? It's a red brick uh, ranch. Red brick, and with white shutters. I know. Red barn. Okay. I know you're busy. Would yes. you be able to write something down really quickly? That's Sorry. okay. That's okay. Not in your pen or paper. No worries. So, my name is Kyle. Younger uh, gentleman. I'll be driving a little gray Mazda. Okay. And I will be there tomorrow between 6 and 7. Okay. All right, Kyle. I will see you tomorrow. All right, Kathy. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. ERS guys, I'm gonna cover up some information here. These look like fancy leads. No, go watch my video on referrals using the emergency contact system, the emergency response system. Now that wasn't, I didn't even use a script um, because the client told me her daughter was looking for something, needed something. She told me she was gonna talk to the daughter, so. And you could tell she knew who I was when I called. So with the others, I will stick to more of a script, a referral script that I have and that I generally use. Okay, cool. Okay. 
track in your numbers here. call an agent real quick generally I don't do this my dial tape time's been off we had this TV delivered hey Kyle hey what's up buddy I'm dialing what's up real quick oh, oh yeah so I'm going back so what do I do if, if Trinity says no so I just talked to her on the phone went through all the medical questions she can say no there's four medications on here that are on their on their list that we have to explain um, Lantus which is for diabetes Lysinopril which is normally high blood pressure she doesn't have high blood pressure. She takes it for the diabetes. The nitroglycerin, which has not been filled for two years. She's never used it. And then there's clopidogrel, clop which is for a slow heart rate, but she doesn't take it. Well, hold on. So she doesn't take it, but it's prescribed consistently? Yes. All right. So that is a red flag, and that is a decline if she says that, because they view that as self-doctoring. So... It's prescribed. So I, need, so I, need, I need to find out when that was last prescribed. Not necessarily. I mean, you just need to know. Well, well, let me clear something up. Is she not taking it because the doctor no longer prescribes it? I'm going to have to ask her that. I'm not sure. Okay, so you got to drill down, and you don't want her to say on – got to prepare her. You don't want her to say on a phone interview, oh, yeah, doctor gives me that, but whew, I quit taking yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the others you drill down, I've never heard of lisinopril being taken for diabetes. So if she says that, that's probably incorrect. She's probably got high blood pressure because it's, it does, it's not for diabetes. Okay. It's not. So you, if you Google lisinopril, you won't find anything about it being used yeah. for diabetes. So you go to WebMD or whatever. It's not for diabetes. So that's just a client who's not a medical doctor. She doesn't know. So yeah. she needs to say that that is for blood pressure because yeah. that is what it's for. Okay. Um, actually, I'm willing to bet even if she told Trinity, oh, that's for diabetes, they probably still approve it because they know better. Okay. Um, but she needs to say it's for blood pressure. Uh, diabetes, Atlantis is just insulin. Um, yeah. So, and she did, that's she fine. Was after the age of forty, because that's that's the, the kind of the breaking point for for Trinity is the age before or after the age of forty. And she said it was after the age of forty that she started taking insulin. Okay, perfect. So she should be good to go then. Okay, so just coach her, coach her on the lisinopril bleeding for high blood pressure. We can explain to them that she's never taken nitroglycerin. She hasn't filled it for two years, and then the and then just have her. What should she say? Why she takes the clopidogrel though? Because she told me for slow heart rate. That doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. So let's look it up. Clopidogrel. I've seen that before. I'm not thinking. Plavix. It's a blood thinner. So they gave that to her probably after a stroke or after a heart attack or. After she had some kind of heart episode. So what happened with her heart history? She had um, she had stents put in back in 2017. It, it wasn't a heart attack, but she had stents put in. That's okay. So it's been over two years. That's no problem. The pl I, I bet you the Plavix, she said, again, she's saying it's for a slow heart rate. They gave that to her to thin her blood. It says right here. Mm -hmm. used to reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke in those at high risk um, because they gave that to her after they put those stents in I guarantee it so we yeah they did that's exactly right so we we should tell them that that, that, that it's a blood thinner well, they know what it is they want to know what is Plavix being taken and what is it be, being taken for yes I'm taking that and they gave that to me after I had some stents put in in 2017. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, you? I think you'll be fine, dude. Is her height weight good? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, just if take they, your time and coach her through the meds and let her know what's going to happen. And yeah, if they if they say no, do they offer graded? They might offer graded. They do offer graded. They might offer that to her. But um, if they say no, have the case. Tell them you would like to have the case referred. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I shouldn't cancel her AIG until I know. <clears throat> but until I know that Trinity's going to accept her. Correct. Which okay. hopefully she yeah. gets accepted right on the phone. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I mean. I, I just want to be prepared for the worst. Yeah. Um, her, her first payment isn't coming out until the first of November. So even if I referred it, Trinity would look at it within a few days normally. Yeah, you just call them like 24 to 48 hours later, probably about 24 hours later, and they should have it. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kyle. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. So that's cool that that's on video. If you're a new agent looking to work for me or you're looking at how to sell final expense, a lot of those conversations happen. That's how you learn it, taking action. That guy, his first month, sixteen thousand. Second month, sixteen thousand. Last month, his best month ever, he wrote twenty-seven thousand. So he's learning a lot, and it's like that, just crossing bridges as they come. So by the way, he used to be in MLM, where they start you at like some sixty percent or some bozo stuff. I forget what the deal is but I know the company <clears throat> forget where they start but it's low alright so we're getting right into the script here direct mail script calling a Miss Robin <clears throat> so so far tomorrow I got a 10 o'clock that was from last week a 4 o'clock and a 6 o'clock. I need an 8, 12, 2, and uh, probably one booked up in the, maybe an 8 o'clock possibly in the evening, and then uh, maybe like a 9 o'clock. I like to lo heavy load the morning to start the day right. I want to make a sale at 8, 9, 10 o'clock to have the momentum going. So I'm going to run through my script here real quick. <clears throat> You don't want the first time you speak your script to be live on the phone. The first two words are really in bit, really big. How you say, hello, Robin, hello, Robin. You'll notice I say that while the phone's ringing sometimes. I'll mute my phone and I'm saying it because I want my cadence to be correct. My head is down because I don't want my pitch to go up. When my chin's up, my pitch is up. And sometimes when your pitch goes up, people go back on their heels. I'm calling, I'm just like a plumber. Low and slow, chin down, script right here, hard to get confused. So let's run through it real quick before we call her. Hello, Robin. This is Kyle. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. This was the little postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. I'm the local field underwriter. I'll be out in your area on Tuesday. Should I drop this off in the morning or in the afternoon? <clears throat> Hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. These little things, guys, might seem strange, but... You know, Michael Jordan, greatest basketball player ever. Well, it's a matter of opinion, right? Michael Jordan's a great basketball player. So is LeBron. There's a lot of great ones. Kobe. So don't take any offense. But man, do you think they did the basics? Do you think they actually practiced layups? Do you think they still shot free throws? Yeah. They practiced the basics. They mastered the mundane. <clears throat> Hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. 
new agent's first dial is always the hardest. Always where you have the most nerves. Hello? Hello, Robin? Yeah? Hey, this is Kyle. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. This was the little pink postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. I'm the local field underwriter. I'll be out okay. in the area on Tuesday. Is it better to catch what you in the... What was it in regard to? Yeah, this was a, about the final expense program. This was a little pink postcard that you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. And I'm... Yes. Some people refer to it as like burial or cremation. I am a local field underwriter, and I'll be out in the area on Tuesday. Is it better to drop this to you in the mornings or in the afternoons? Um, it's not going to matter. I'm here. Okay. Are you, an, are you an early bird? I'm not real early, no. Okay. Uh, you know, somewhere after 9 o'clock. I still might be in my PJs. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I have a, uh, let me see, you're over on 6th Avenue. Um, okay. I can do, I can do something. Is this about insurance? I mean, is this about life insurance? This was a, a little card that talked about funeral expenses, a final expense program. Is it going to be buying insurance of some sort? Um, no, ma'am. So what I do okay. is find out what you qualify for. I ask you some medical questions, and then I'll leave some options with you. What you do with it is, that's up to you. Um, I can do um, between 9 and 11. Okay. Is that too early? No, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Do you have a piece of paper, Robin, where you could jot some important info down real quick? Okay, let me know when you're ready. Alright. Okay. Uh, my name is Kyle. K-Y-L-E. Okay. I am a younger gentleman. I will be driving a little gray Mazda 3. That way you know who it is. And um, I'll be there between 9 and 11. Uh, if you could grant me a little bit of grace on the time, uh, some people have more questions than others, but I will be there uh, sometime between 9 and 11. Okay, 9 and 11? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, you have a good day. You too, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. So, guys, I'm seven years into this. That was my first call. Even me, you know, I feel like my face getting kind of hot, you know, just a little bit of nerves because you put that slight pressure on yourself because these things cost money. These leads cost money. It costs money to mail leads and to buy leads. And so you want to perform well. But the key is to have a script, have good training, and to have a plan. So she really wasn't objecting, you know, didn't, I didn't love how I handled the life insurance thing. Is this just life insurance? Like, here's a funny thing about this. It's, um, life insurance gets a bad rep. So, I don't really want to call it life insurance. It's a final expense program. Is it life insurance? Yeah. You buy it from a life insurance company, but... It's funny, you know, people say, oh, I don't need life insurance. I just need a mortgage protection plan to pay off my house when I die. Well, that's not a thing. Life insurance is a thing. And it's not really life insurance. We're selling money. Hey, pay 80 bucks a month. And if you die, something happens. Your family gets X number of dollars and they'll be, you know, not completely destitute financially. So, takes a lot of practice, but... All right. All right.
So you see what I did there. Usually I do 8, 10, 12, 2, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, two hour increments. But you know, that 10 o'clock has been a little flaky. So I'm now I'm going to have an 8, a 9, and a 10. And then I'll get into my regular schedule, 12, 2, 4, 6. Normally I like to ask, uh, that woman threw me off a little bit. I will admit, she threw me off a little bit. I uh, don't know why, but she threw me off a little bit. I normally ask, um, you know, what color is the house, stuff like that. I think I was thrown off because I feel like I was kind of lying about the life insurance thing, but, um, you know, I don't know. I just, I just tell you, if you say, yeah, it's life insurance, I just don't know if she would have booked an appointment. So it's a final expense plan, final expense program. Is it buying life insurance? That's a pretty good question. Um, I deflected it by saying, I'm just the underwriter. I find out what you qualify for. I'll leave some options with you. So it's typically what I do. It's worked pretty well. <clears throat> Jerry and Karen. Let's give them a call here. Yeah. <sighs> Looks like Karen's handwriting. <clears throat> Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. The Magic Jack customer you have called is unavailable to take your... The Magic Jack customer you have called is unavailable. Magic Jack. Try them one more time here. <clears throat> Hello, Karen. Hello, Jerry. The Magic Jack Cup. Okay, on to the next one. Guys, I promise you, when you first start, especially on the phone, some people will be better than others. But you're going to have a little bit of anxiety. Okay, so you got to fight through that anxiety. you got to realize, listen, look out the window. Whew, it's a big world out there. I'm just trying to book some insurance appointments. Get some perspective, okay? Or you have a two-year-old walk in whenever she wants. Let's get some perspective. Don't get too freaked out. It takes some time to get good at this. Moving on. Here's a lead, direct mail lead. Uh, it says name, home address, phone, age, blah, blah, blah. She wrote her age in. She drew an arrow for name and home address to what the postcard said, which is funny. Didn't list a phone number. So I will go, not now, on my dial session, but later, I'll go on whitepages.com and I'll look this one up and I'll likely find a phone number. I think I pay $60 a year or something for 20 lookups a month, I recommend White Pages. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, Sharon. Kenneth? Hello. Hello, Kenneth? Yeah. 
Hey, this is Kyle. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. This was the little pink postcard you sent off in the mail yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah. I'm the local field underwriter, and I will be in your area on Tuesday. Is it? No, I'm gonna be going there, but I'll get back with you later. Okay. What time are you guys tied up? I'm going to be gone then, but I'll get back to you later. If you don't know, that's complete BS. Very generic, not true. Hello, Kenneth? Go knock on the door. Hey, you must be Kenneth. Hey, you must be Sharon. See if we can't help them. <clears throat> Hello, Donald. Hello, Donald. Give that a second before I call back. When you're new and you have more anxiety, do like three very deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Like deep, like. Like as deep as you can go. Three in a row. It lowers your blood pressure. And then just try to control your tone. Stay calm. Because sometimes you feel kind of shaky, but it doesn't actually reflect in your tone and in your voice, just relax, stay calm. And I don't know if every agent's that way, but I was. When I first started, I was more nervous. <clears throat> Hello, Donald. Seventy-eight, so. Hello, dear. And by the way, you know, today's been a strange day. I think I mentioned the TV we ordered and stuff, so I was kind of off schedule. Normally I start at 9. It's 12.30 in the afternoon, so slightly harder to reach people. And my daughter's slightly more impatient. So might have to do some more dials in the evening tonight. She just opened my door. Hey, sweetie pie. I'll be out in a minute, okay? Oof. 
<clears throat> Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Yes. Hey, this is Kyle. I'm getting back to you and Danny about your request for the new final expense information. This was the little pink postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. I'm the... Uh, okay, I think he said it and I didn't. Okay, um, gotcha. I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be in Lancaster on Tuesday. Is it better to catch you and Danny in the morning or the afternoon? Probably the afternoon. When you say I'm afternoon... I'm in my car right now. Okay, when you yeah. say afternoon, do you mean around like 12 o'clock or more like 2 o'clock? More like three o'clock. Yeah, it would be better if you called him. Okay. Let me see. Are either of you guys um, still working part time or anything? No. Okay. Um, I do have a four o'clock tomorrow, so I won't have a, a ton of time. But if I could bring it by between three and four, you you and Danny should be there. Uh. Okay. Um, like I said, it would be better if you called him. Okay, I'll I'll make a note of this and I'll I'll go ahead and give him a call. And uh Okay, that's see when like plan. Hey, I'll call him at like I said. Are you guys early birds though? Are you usually up early in the morning? Around not eight? really. He is, I'm not. <laughs> that sounds like my house. Okay. Well I'll give him a call and I'll go from there. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. Yeah. Hey, this is Kyle. I'm getting back to you about the request for the new final expense information. This was the little pink postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. I'm the local underwriter, and I'll be in your guys' area on Tuesday. Is what it? Are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was a a little pink postcard you guys got in the mail. They talked about a final expense program. Some people uh, call it burial or cremation, and you sent it off in the mail a couple weeks ago. I am what's called an underwriter, so I ask the seniors some questions about heart attacks and cancer. I'll be in the area on Tuesday. Is it better to catch you guys in the morning or in the afternoon? Okay. Um, is there any reason... Um, when you say afternoon, do you mean more like 12 o'clock or more like 2 o'clock? Okay, so I have a, I could be there sometime between 2 and 4. Um, if you could give me a little bit of grace on time. Uh, some people have more yeah, questions. Do you have a... That's a good way to look at it. I mean, uh, now, this is going to be one where you have to take an examination and you have to go get a test going and all that. You want to go hang it up. Nah, you don't, you don't give any blood or urine, nothing like that. Um, it's very simple. 
You got a piece you of know, paper, Danny? Something, something to uh, cremate me, and that's it. You know, I'm not looking for a five fifty thousand dollar policy for a hundred and forty dollars a month and all that. Yeah. yeah. You don't need a gold and, a gold and, casket. And, You gotta get off the phone. Uh, two o'clock, twenty-two or four. Okay. Okay. You got a piece of paper, Danny, where you could write some important info down real quick. Important yeah, info, no, real uh, quick. What do I have to write down? I just wanted to give you my name and what kind of vehicle I'll be driving and the time I'll be there. Well, tell me. Tell okay. me. And what kind of vehicle? I'll know what to look for. Perfect. For my new cars. Perfect. So, uh, my name is Kyle. I'm a younger gentleman. I'll be driving a little gray Mazda 3. And I'll be there between 2 and 4. Like I said, if you grant me some grace on the time, um, there's some travel. Some people have questions. But I will be there between 2 and 4. And if you could let, if you could let Sandra know I'm stopping by, that'll keep us both out of trouble. <laughs> All right. All right. See you okay. See you then. Bye. Bye. You notice he answered the phone kind of loud. So I'm gonna stop and uh, I'll be getting back on the phone this evening. Today was just weird. We had that TV delivered and right at 9:08 a.m. and I had already taken down the other one. I know this is too much information for y'all, but uh, I needed a TV to distract Aurora so I could dial for an hour or two. And uh, so I had to set it up. But you know why I love Final Expense? I still sat here and uh, talked to four and book three at 12 in the afternoon. They're home. They're home. So great, uh, great industry to get into, guys. You can be effective darn near any time of the day. And um, I'll be getting on the phone tonight and looking to book an eight o'clock and a twelve o'clock at minimum. I might be booking an eight o'clock as well. So hopefully this is helpful for you. I'm gonna edit this and try to cut out some of the uh, the gaps there, but I will. Uh, Talk to you guys soon. If you have interest in working with me, you can go to kylestuter.com. Scroll to the bottom. There's a contact card. When you go to my website, read the information. Read about creative control. A lot of people don't know what that is or what I mean. Read about where you start off in your contracts. Read about the support and the leads. So scroll to the bottom. I also have a YouTube channel. You can go and watch. I've got over 100 videos now. So I appreciate the support and uh, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.